all right YouTube and Fallout community. So today we got some major info on survival mode. And this guy on Twitter, uh, Cascadia Hermit, hooked me up with the info. Shout out to him. He's a cool guy for doing this. Um, I wasn't home to record whenever the, it was kind of like you know, when it first happened. And so I was like, damn, it sucks. But also, you know, you don't know if it's true or not. But while I was still away from home, uh, Bethesda tweeted out about it. And so it is true. And it's pretty cool. And I'm going to go over all the new stuff. I actually haven't read it myself. So this will be kind of interesting. But let's get right into everything that matters. First up, saving. Manual and quick saving are disabled to save your game. You'll need to find a bed and sleep for at least an hour. Combat. Combat is more lethal for everyone. You now deal, but also take more damage. You can increase the damage you deal even further with adrenaline. See below. Fast travel. Fast travel is disabled. If you wish to be somewhere, you'll have to physically travel there. Weighted ammo. Bolts and shells now all have a small amount of weight, which varies by caliber. Heavier items, such as fusion cores, rockets, and mini nukes, can carry you can really drag you down. Compass. Be sure to keep your eyes peeled, as enemies will no longer appear on your compass. Oh wow, dude, that's that's a good one. As well, the distance at which locations of interest will appear has been significantly shortened. Adrenaline. Survival automatically grants the adrenaline perk, which provides a bonus to your damage output. Unlike other perks, the only way to increase your rank of the adrenaline perk is by getting kills, hostile or otherwise. The higher your adrenaline rank, the higher the damage bonus. Sleeping for more than an hour, however, will cause your adrenaline rank to lower. You can check your current adrenaline rank at any time in the perks section on the stat tab in your pit boy. That's kind of interesting. I don't know, that sounds like it might be a little like, a little too good, you know? Almost like a, a crutch or something for survival mode. Wellness. You'll find it difficult to survive without taking proper care of yourself. You must stay hydrated, fed, and rested to maintain combat ready. To remain combat ready. Going for extended periods of time without food, water, or sleep will begin to adverse, adversely affect your health, hurting your special stats, adding to your fatigue. See below. Lowering your immunity, sickness, and eventually even dealing physical damage to you. So that's that's pretty. We knew that was something like that was going to happen. Fatigue works like radiation, but affects your action points rather than your HP. The more fatigue you've built up, the less AP you will have for other actions. The amount of fatigue you've accumulated is displayed in red on your AP bar. Sickness: a compromised immune system and a few questionable decisions can end up getting you killed. Eating uncooked meat, drinking unpurified water, taking damage from disease-ridden resources such as ghouls and bugs. And using harmful chems all put your body at increased risk of various ill effects. When you are affected with an illness, a message will appear on screen. You can view specifics about your current illness by navigating to the status section on your Pit Boys data tab and pressing R shoulder, like right, right tab, right bumper, to view your active effects. That seems pretty cool. So that's like the diseases and stuff, I guess. Antibiotics. which Antibiotics, which can be crafted at chem stations or purchased from doctors, heal the various effects of sickness. Pretty self-explanatory. Bed types. The type of bed you're sleeping in determines the length of time you're able to stay asleep. Oh, that's interesting. A sleeping bag will... Oh, sleeping bag! Oh, shit! How many times have we been talking about that? Yes. Bed rolls and sleeping bags and shit. I wonder if that's something. If that's an item we can get. Uh, a sleeping bag will save your game and may help save your life when you're desperate. But it will also, but it will never allow for a full night's rest and the benefits that come with it. So I guess you'll, you'll need a bed to get a full good rest or whatever. Crippled limbs. Crippled limbs will no longer auto heal after combat and will remain crippled until healed by a stim pack. I wasn't even aware that they auto healed after combat. I, I don't know. That's, but that's pretty cool though, I guess. Carry weight. Exceeding your carry weight reduces your endurance and agility stats and periodically damages your legs and health. Think of your back. That's pretty. That's interesting. I like that actually. If you're carrying way too much, you can't slow walk to like a storage location for too long. It'll make your like legs damage and stuff. That's pretty interesting actually. Companions. Companions will no longer automatically get back up if down during combat and will return home if abandoned without being healed. That is pretty interesting, too. I was kind of hoping for death. Uh, death is the best way to make survival seem legit for your companions. And last up is enemy and loot repopulation. Locations you've cleared will now repopulate enemies and loot at a significantly slower rate. That's pretty cool, too, I guess. So all around, that's pretty good, guys. Uh, that's a lot of good info for uh, for survival mode. I mean, and Bethesda, I don't think they wanted this to come out, but they sent out a tweet with a link to this that says, Our fans are too smart. Early look at hashtag Fallout 4 survival mode on Reddit. We're still messing with it. More to come. So this isn't the final thing, but they are confirming that this these things are real. So let me know what you guys think of the new uh, survival mode info. I am so freaking hyped, guys. Later. Also, be sure and add me up on my social networks. They're always in the description below. And uh, follow, me, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's where I'm most active. I have a Facebook page that you can like if you'd like to, but all I just really do is post videos there. And then also, I always update my SugarBomb.com account with all my new videos. 
Um, very, very nice to have a forum where us, us Bethesda fans can come together and just chat and just talk about anything gaming news. Later.